If you're planning to set a New Year's resolution for 2024, you will most likely fail. It's simple statistics and research. According to a 2023 article by The Ohio State University, only 9% of Americans that make resolutions complete them, 23% quit their resolution by the end of the first week, and 43% quit by the end of January. So what can we do about it? The first step towards resolution planning is to not limit it by the beginning of the year. You have to consciously keep reviewing and editing your goals and steps to get there. The other thing is to make sure to set actionable goals. For example, the resolution to get healthy doesn't really describe how you're going to do that. In this video, we'll be giving you a tour of our ultimate yearly goal planner notion template, which includes many sections for actionable goal planning, including a vision board and periodic planning and review. If you find this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So let's dive right in. When you first open up this yearly goal planner, you will see various sections. So there is a goals dashboard where you can see all of your current goals. Then there's a task dashboard where you can see what tasks lead to your goals and when they're due. And then you'll see a section for planning and reviewing such as weekly plan, monthly plan, quarterly plan, and yearly plan. And finally, we have a letter to the future where you can write to your future self. And on the left hand side, we have a quick start button for your yearly plan, a mobile view button and the navigation bar, as well as a section to put your mission, values and a vision board for the year along with your theme. So the first thing you'll have to do when you start using the goal planner is to start a yearly plan. So we recommend you to just click this button. And once you click it, it's going to load a dedicated template for yearly planning and review. And we highly recommend you to open this up in full screen so that you can really plan out your entire year. So we're going to click this open in full page and then we can start planning. So the first step is to start answering these questions such as what do you hope for this year? What are the key areas in your life that you want to focus on? So this can be very generic like your health or your relationships and so on. And the next step is to write a letter to yourself a year from now. So you can write to yourself things like who you want to be when you do read the letter and sort of where you are at right now and what you want to tell your future self. So for example, if we click here, it's going to load a dedicated template again that is going to be here. And then it's going to already put the date that today is and the date you can open it, which is going to be a year from now. And this is automated. And then you can just write an open letter to yourself here. And if you want to be reminded of this in the future, you can do something like slash date and you can click data reminder and then you can put, for example, just today and then you can click here and then edit the date. So if this is going to be next year, you could just look for 2024 November, click here and then you can change this to the day that you want the reminder. So this could be kind of a fun way to plan for the future and to get that notification that you could open a letter from a year ago would be kind of interesting as well. So the next thing you'll do is to think about a theme for the year. So imagine it's like a slogan for the upcoming year and you can just brainstorm ideas. So for example, is it going to be embracing change or something else. So you can just think. And for us, we just put embracing change for this year. And then what you can do is start making your vision board. And here you can change the picture of this vision board. So you could just click plus new and then you can go to add cover and then you can go to change cover and then click unsplash. And then for example, you can type something like change and then you can find a photo that would represent this theme. So we can just, for example, choose one. And just put a collection of photos that inspire you based on this theme. And next, you're going to list out goals that you can make for yourself. And you should additionally list how long each goal might take so that they're basically actionable. So don't just write get healthy. Think of something like attend a gym for X number of months or something more actionable than just a very basic goal. So next, let's take a look at our goals database and you want to add what goals you want to work on in here and make sure to tag it by the specific type, whether it's personal development, relationships, financial, and so on. So we're just going to click plus new. And for example, the new goal is going to be attend 
a painting class for six months. So this is a very actionable goal with a time frame. And this is going to be a creativity goal. And the goal period is going to be from January 1st. And we have to add end date like this and then go to, let's say, June 30th. And now we can add a cover photo by clicking here, add cover. And then you want to go to change cover and then click unsplash. And then we'll look for something relating to painting. And let's just choose this one here. And now what you can do is to think about how you're going to incorporate these new goals and tasks this year. Like what specific actions we'll be taking to make sure you can fit them into your schedule and so on. And then finally, any final words to yourself before embarking on this year-long journey. So those are the things you want to do during this yearly planning section. And once you're done with that, you'll want to go home by clicking the home button. And now what we can do is write out your mission statement. So what kind of personal mission statement would describe your year? So for example, it could be become a better person with creative interests like this. And then some values that you want to make sure to think about this year. For example, compassion kindness and creativity and you can just think about anything you want here for your values and these can also change as your year goes on so one of the main things about making sure to have a really good yearly goal planner is that it's also very flexible so the more rigid of a structure you set the harder it's going to be to keep up with it as well and then you'll see the vision board that you just edited and the picture is going to automatically appear here after you do the yearly planning. And then what you can do is now you can go to your goals dashboard. So if we click upcoming, you'll notice that the attending and painting class for six months appears here. And if we click here, we highly recommend you to open it up in full page when you do your planning. So the first thing is the planning stage, which is where you can answer various questions on why this goal is important to you. Have you tried this goal in the past? How did it go? What steps would it take to accomplish this? And what would be a reasonable time frame? So all of these are going to help you really plan for your goal. And then you can go to goal tasks. And we highly recommend you to go into timeline view so that you can really see the process of how each task is going to connect to the next. And also it's going to automatically add a date when you do this, which is really helpful as well. So let's say that we're going to start on January 1st and this task, the first task is going to be to do research on painting classes. And once you've done that, you can now add another one, which would be to enroll in one in a class. And you can now connect the two together by dragging this here. And this is going to add it as a dependency. And sometimes there can be bugs. So you can just turn off dependencies and turn off feature and then turn it back on if it's not working like it did this time. So turn on dependencies. And now it's connecting the two. And after enrolling in a class, you'll be going to your first class. So you can just click here and you can put go to first class and then you can connect the two again. And what you can now do is just calculate how many classes there are until the end. So this is the first class or maybe there's one every other week or something. Then you could just put more and you could just adjust the dates as needed. If you need to look in a more quarterly view, you can also look this way as well. And for example, this one would be class number two and although this part's going to take a while it's going to be worth it later when you are actually doing these tasks and everything is connected so let's just stop here and then you can see in the goal tasks here that you have research a painting classes enrolling class go to first class class number two and so on and when you finish them like this you'll see the percentage like this and once you've completed all of your goal tasks, you can review your goal as well when you're done. So now what you can do is to change this to in progress, especially if you've started it. 
and then we can go back home by clicking the home button and now you can see it in upcoming like this and then you can see in your task dashboard current upcoming tasks overdue no date and goal timeline view like this and there's also inactive goals so what this means is if you either decide that a goal is not for you anymore or that you've completed it you can change this in progress into done and then it gets removed also from your task dashboard like this and if we go to inactive you can see it here as well but if you wanted to archive it it's the same thing but let's put it back to in progress and it appears here again and then we have the plan and review section so we've already showed you the yearly plan so if we go yearly you can see the plan that you just created and the date and then what you can do is to review it at the end and we put a checkbox here so you can review it and you can see all of your plans that you haven't reviewed by going to not review tab and every week month quarter you can choose to add a plan by just clicking the button so if we click weekly plan it's going to load a weekly plan with a dedicated template and now you can see the weekly plan it includes current upcoming goals and tasks it includes weekly planning and you can answer various questions relating to this overdue goals and tasks and a weekly review at the end of the week and the same with monthly you just click a button and it's gonna load and quarterly as well it's going to load like this and each of these have separate templates that you can use and then finally here we have that letter from the future that you wrote to yourself in the yearly plan and finally the last thing we want to show you is these databases so this is just here for your view only and we recommend you not to delete these or the whole template is going to be kind of messed up so we just put them here as a not do not delete section and the other thing is that we have a quick mobile view if you click here and we highly recommend you to save this on your phone so that you can easily see all of your goals right now and your goal tasks as well as your plans in one glance like this so that's the basics of our ultimate yearly goal planner. We hope that this was useful for you and we'll leave the link to this template in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one.